Hey y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is a very exciting day. It is April 12th, which means it is my 28th birthday. Woohoo! I still feel like I am 18, trying to figure out the world, and then life slaps me across the face, and I'm reminded I have to pay bills. Today should be a fun day. We're gonna eat some treats. I have a very exciting surprise that should show up today, and it's just gonna be a good one. So I can't wait to bring y'all along with me for my birthday vlog. Let's get the day started. Can I do a venti toasted vanilla oatmeal, oat milk shaken espresso? Alrighty, thank you. Getting some birthday Starbucks because you get a free drink on your birthday. I never go to Starbucks anymore. I try and always make my coffee at home, but since you get a free drink on your birthday, I had to try one of these venti iced toasted vanilla oat milk I don't know, but this is like a $7 freaking coffee. People actually pay that much money for coffee, which blows my mind. And it's not really anything to write home about, but yay, free coffee to start off our morning. And there was only one person in line. Cheers to that. In the last video, I was real with y'all about how bad my guest room looked and Cody's parents were coming the next day. I just have to show off that I did in fact get it looking good and clean. And his parents came this weekend, we had a lot of fun. But let me show you, I'm proud of myself because this took some work. Oh my golly, the floors are clean, the bed is clean. Wow, there's nothing on the floor except this big freaking stain. But, I did it y'all. I'm so proud of myself for getting that done. Also, if you see my parents' dogs in the video today, they are here hanging out. And Harley just saw cows for the first time. And she is looking out the window at the cows in the backyard. She's having a blast barking at them, aren't you, girl? Aren't you, girl? On a side note, speaking of this giant stain, the first thing I want to do now that we own the house is rip out this carpet. And I need your help. I quite literally have zero eye for design or any sort of interior decorating skills. So we want to replace the flooring in here with like a laminate, something that can get dirty. If the dog vomits on it, it's not going to leave a stain. But this is where I have the issue. In the rest of our house, besides this living area in the back guest room, we have like 80 year old small plank hardwood floors. It is beautiful and old, but our problem is there is not a laminate that is going to match this in any sort of way. Hey, Bobo. Okay, so I need your opinion. Dark and dark or dark and something completely different in these rooms. So right now, this is our TV area. And in the next couple of months, I have a big plan to change basically how I have the layout of everything in here. So this is going to become our dining room. And over here, where I have all of the rabbits at the moment, this is going to become our new TV area. We're gonna get a new sectional couch to put along these two walls. And then on this wall where I have this painting, which I need to show y'all. I don't think I've shown y'all this painting. I'm going to have an electrician come in, run some power, and we're gonna put our TV here and basically have this front room be our TV area. This painting though, I don't think I've showed y'all this. So my mom commissioned an artist to paint a photo of Cody and I for Christmas and it turned out incredible. So you can see me fishing right there and there's Cody in the back and he did like an exact replica of the boat. He came out, took some pictures of us and he painted us. And it's just such a cool piece of artwork that I'm going to cherish forever. We're supposed to get a bunch of rain this afternoon so I wanted to come out here and check on all the mamas and babies. We got Lulu and her little nugget right here. Let's come and say hello to them. Hi, cute little nuggets. For the past two years, we've been using bungee cords to keep this gate closed. Well, not too long ago, some stray dogs ran around the side of our house and Bad Dog Bo was able to push through and tried to go fight three giant huskies and I about lost it. 
So therefore, we installed this. So it is a little bit redneck because we had to add this board to get it to work. But now there is no chance of the dogs pushing through the gate. And I'm very happy about that, even if it does look a little redneck for the time being. Here's my five week old little cheap cheeps. I'm thinking this one's a rooster. This one's definitely a rooster because he started trying to crow this morning. And this little tiny, tiny gray one. That one's gonna be a rooster too. Y'all are gonna be some pretty little birds. It is 12.29 p.m. and I'm getting hungry. So for lunch today, I'm gonna heat up this chicken teriyaki bowl from Snap Kitchen. I decided to place an order for some of these the other day. This is not sponsored. I bought them on my own. Um, I paid $115 for 12 of these meals. So definitely very expensive and that was with a $10 off coupon, but I did wanna try them out because I am so busy during the week sometimes, it is so hard for me to come up with a healthy meal. So having something like this that I can just pop in the microwave, I think is gonna help me make better choices and have better portion control. So although these are definitely expensive and kind of a splurge, I did wanna try them out and see if between me and Cody, we would actually eat these. I do know for dinner tonight, I am definitely going to splurge on the calories. So for lunch today, I figured we'd keep it light with a healthy meal. Cause I'm sure tonight I'm going ham on some good food. <laughs> I had the Buffalo Ranch Burger yesterday from Snap Kitchen, and I have to say, it was absolutely incredible. So I'm hoping this one is just as good. Sometimes I do find it okay to pay a little bit more for convenience for something like this, something that is helping me live a better life by having you know portioned healthy meals. This will help me significantly. So we're gonna try these for a couple more days and decide if it's worth the $125 for the 12 meals each week, or if we just wanna do it periodically. I don't know, but they're pretty good. As I was sitting here eating my lunch, I just got a call from the post office and there's something there waiting for us. Let's head out the door and go see what it is. All right, y'all, we're here. Let's head inside. So, can you guess what's in this box? Can you guess? Okay, let's go home. We're back at home and you might have a clue as to what I picked up at the post office. Okay, so <laughs> what happened was before I started hatching out babies, buying extra babies at the feed store. I had placed an order online for some sexed bantams. There's one place that sexes them and they're very pricey, but I had made this order. The breed I wanted, they did not have many left for the rest of the year. And I have been wanting this breed for a while. And so, we ordered some babies. I did, in fact though, I had originally ordered 15 and I changed my order to nine because that's the minimum that could ship to me. So we're gonna peep in here. I think everyone's alive every once in a while. Sometimes babies don't make the transport, but everyone looks Alive? Oh my golly, y'all. We got baby chickens in the mail. Let me show you. So in this box, there should be three Duclays, which look like my rooster. There is five that I chose as an assortment, so there's no telling what we got. And then one is going to be a Bantam Bard Rock. But look at these sweet babies. Everyone seems to have gotten here strong and happy. And now we're about to go move them and get them under the heater. Just look at the sweet little fluffy babies. Ooh, so cute. 
Let's go get them warmed up. I just mixed up some of this Hydrahin electrolytes and probiotics, which is great to give to these babies after they have been shipping for the last 24 hours. So since these babies are only about a week different than my other chicks, I went ahead and stuck them in here together and they should all be able to get along. Look at all the babies. If anyone asks, we do not know how nine extra chickens ended up in here, all right? We do not know, but they are little poop machines. So I'm gonna have to clean this out a couple times a day. Look at how tiny these babies are compared to these older full-size chickens. I was considering moving the full-size chickens into this pen over here because they are just huge compared to these tiny babies. Like that one can fit underneath it. The baby chicks are settled in. And so the next step on the agenda today is some bunny bonding. I brought Miss June home a couple weeks ago, and since then, I have done a couple of bonding sessions between Rudy and June, because you can't just dump two rabbits together and expect them to coexist. You have to do these bonding sessions. So up until now, I have not been doing anything over like two hours, because I just haven't had the time or the correct pin. But since my parents are gone for a couple of days, I went and took back my pin because this has been blocking the door so Lady can't fall in the pool because she's deaf and blind, my parents' dog. So since I have them here and she's safe, I went and collected this giant pin and I am doing long bonding sessions in the hope that Rudy and June can live together by the end of the week. I'm tired of having this much space being taken up by rabbits. We have June's pin here and then Rudy's area over there and they need to live together. So we have them in here doing their bonding session, which is another pin in the middle of my floor along with Miss BB over here. Just a farm in my kitchen, you know. I did nine hours of bonding yesterday and today we're just gonna leave them in here for the rest of the day. I didn't get to do quite as long today as I'd hoped because I knew I needed to go to the post office and I can't leave them in here alone in case they start fighting. They seem to be making some pretty good progress. So hopefully by the end of the week, these two will be fully bonded and can live together and I can get half of this out of our living area. Because this, this is a lot. We need more space back. I am out here in the backyard making sure the dogs go potty before we have a bunch of rain move in this evening. But I have a story for y'all that I don't know if I've ever really talked about much on my channel. But ever since I met Cody five years ago, he has told me he was allergic to shellfish. He has had a lot of anxiety over eating shellfish, but he was never truly diagnosed with an allergy and for years I have told him he's not allergic, all is well, he's just fine. For the past eight years or so, he has never eaten shellfish because he had convinced himself at one point he had a reaction and so he just never ate it again. I have been telling him that everything is okay, that we would have had issues somewhere along the way and we never did. So this weekend, our neighbors had a crawfish boil. And for some reason, since Cody's mom was in town, my mom was there, our neighbor's a firefighter, so he has a little bit of EMT training, he decided that he was going to eat a crawfish for the first time in five years. And you know what? Homeboy was not allergic. So he's deprived me of seafood for five years. He also ate a shrimp no problem there either so for dinner tonight i just ordered some sushi because i have not had sushi with him because he wouldn't eat it but now that we know he is not allergic we're doing some sushi for dinner i just ordered it on doordash because i do not feel like going to a restaurant but yeah that is the story cody can eat some dang shellfish we've only avoided it for Five years for no reason. No reason. 
I tried to tell him, but it's okay. I'm just so thankful that he's eating it now. I've got five years of shellfish eaten to make up for. <laughs> Alright y'all, it is time for the birthday feast. I think I got a little carried away when I was just ordering stuff on DoorDash, but we got three sushi rolls, some crab meat puffs, and some chicken noodles. So, Cody and I are about to dig in, and it's going to be good, and we're going to eat way too much, and I'm so excited! Birthday sushi! Oh my golly y'all, dinner was outstanding. But now, I have something even more exciting. BB got her diaper in the mail. It's this little harness that goes up and around her chest, over her wings, and then there's a little pouch that is lined. You put some tissue paper in there, and you can let your little birdle wander around the house without pooping everywhere. She hates it. So I'm putting it on her for just a couple minutes a day to see if we can get her used to it so that she can be a little free range bird. See a little, little booty pouch? But this is what happens when I set her down. She's not a fan. Hold on. Poor girl. It's just not very much a fan of the diaper. I have to hold on to it so she doesn't fall over. Hey y'all, it is the next day now. After eating that sushi last night and eating a couple bites of cake, I promptly went and passed out in a food coma on the couch. I had a great day ringing in my 28th birthday yesterday. Cheers to another trip around the sun. On a side note, check out what I walked out to this morning when I went to check on the chickens. Y'all are really just letting this thing hang out in here. No issue. Like, y'all do realize that's a snake, right? Y'all do realize that's a little snake. Yeah, was not a fan of the snake, but it scattered on and all was well. <laughs> Cody got me these super adorable Crocs, which actually match my shirt I have on today. Cody knows he can never go wrong getting me a pair of Crocs because I wear these bad boys all the time. And then I got this beautiful Texas bracelet that doesn't want to focus to match my Texas necklace that Cody got me for Valentine's Day. So that was really sweet. And then this just showed up on my front porch. My mom was very upset it did not arrive yesterday, but it's a little Harry and David birthday gift basket with all sorts of yummy treats in it. Yum! So that was really sweet of a treat to wake up to this morning. I am so excited for another trip around the sun. So if you enjoyed today's vlog, it was a little bit all over the place, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't done so. And I will see y'all again real soon with another one. Bye guys! Mm -hmm.